This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Well, today we have a wonderful exhibition going on with um, Cliff Miller. He's an oil painter and illustrator. And we actually, this is his opening reception. So he has family and friends here to celebrate the exhibition that's they're being shown in our bi-level gallery. This is basically a show of some portraits I've done over the years, some commissions, and also a lot of book covers. I was an illustrator for over 25 years. You know, anytime you're doing work for editorial or uh, for book covers, you, you know there's a deadline. And they all vary. Usually, we had somewhere around a week. So all, all of these were done in around that time frame. You miss a deadline and you, you got in trouble, you know, so you just never miss deadlines. Norman Rockwell was my artistic hero. I wanted to paint like Norman Rockwell. I ended up finding out about a guy named Harold Stevenson who was up in Seacliff, and he was one of only 11 students, private students of, of Norman Rockwell. And he offered traditional painting classes in his house for $10 a night. So I, I couldn't get enough, so I went for three and a half years. This is uh, from a book called The Boy and His Dog. It's about the calendar paintings that Norman Rockwell did. And not only did I do the cover, but I also did the interior illustrations. It was really fun doing that book, yeah. And to actually illustrate something about, you know, uh, one of my artistic heroes. Typically, as an illustrator, we would have to produce between three and five book covers a month. Yeah, so it was a real way to make a living, you know. And I also got to work at home. I got to be my kid's baseball coach and, you know, softball coaches and um, wrestling coach, you know. So I got to be involved in their lives and still do what I, what I love to do. It was, I knew that question was coming. I still don't know how to answer it. but. Uh, you know, oh, this is some almost 60 originals, and it's, they all have a some place in my heart. You know, um, the ones that I think are my better pieces probably are, you know, some of the portraits downstairs. Uh, the ones that I did of Fabio before Fabio became famous. I did a book series called uh, The Mystic Rebel, and then I think one of my other favorites is uh, there's a cowboy painting downstairs called Desperado. This painting over here is a picture of. Um, a gentleman by the name of John McTighe, his friends called him, called him Mickey. John was a, a co-pilot in, in uh, World War II, in a B-17. And one night they were doing a, a bombing raid over Germany, and the plane started to take on flak, and it was really getting shot apart. John yelled out to his crewmates, guys, get your packs on and get out of the plane, we're going down. The plane took a mortal blow, and his crewmates were blown out of the back of the plane. And Tom was put in touch with two men that miraculously survived that, that, that blow. They, they were blown out of the plane, but because they had the packs on, you know, John saved their lives. And uh, Tom was able to hear all the stories of, he had all the gaps filled in, all the questions filled in about his brother, not only his brother's service, but his, uh, the great stories, all the mischief they got into as young men. When Photoshop first came out, it put, us, put illustrators like me out of business. Within two years, once it was actually usable, um, it, it, it literally put us all out of business because um, all the artwork became type-driven and, the, and the, the art directors and book companies were able to master the uh, program and then just manipulate photographs and so then the, the illustration got smaller, type got bigger and you know it, it cut us all out of the, it, it, it saved the book companies tons of money. So for me, for any illustrator now, you have to be really well versed in Photoshop because it's a phenomenal design tool. And with the whole digital revolution going, I get fearful that young people who, are, who have the passion for art aren't gonna be able to take that journey. Hopefully we can get people into classes who are, still have that passion for the analog world and painting that I can kinda pass along the, the, the knowledge I've been lucky enough to learn in my life from some great people and have them continue it on and, and, and have, enjoy the same things that I've enjoyed as an artist.
This is the National Video Journalist Network.